Okay, so today uh, I'm doing a review, a very late review of the Siege War for Cybertron uh, Weaponizer Brunt and uh, Transformers War for Cybertron tri Trilogy Generation Select Zetar. Why? Why am I reviewing these two figures at the same time? Uh, this is basically the same figure. Uh, Brunt is the first one to came out and it is a weaponizer meaning it can be broken up into pieces then placed on other siege deluxes, voyagers and leader class as weapons or as accessories uh, a la Centurions if you're familiar with that old cartoon. Power Dasher, Power Dasher Zetar is a recolor of Brunt. Uh, Brunt is a Decepticon, while Zetar is an Autobot. Okay, so let's take a look at the original packaging for Brunt. Uh, it, it comes in the regular, the regular packaging for most of Siege. And it has this wonderful artwork on the side. Product shots at the back, showing how you can break him apart. And his tank mode, and how you can place him on other figures as accessories or as weapons. And that's each art. On the other hand, Satar comes in this. Uh, brown box that most of the generation select figures come in It's plain doesn't have any pictures of the product so if you're very particular with paint apps You won't be able to check if the figure that you bought May have some issues But so far with the select figures that I have bought I haven't encountered any 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 issues so yeah it, it only says here his name Tar Dasher Zetar and when you open it just have that clamshell it doesn't come with any cards or anything just the box and the instructions so so much for the packaging e uh, okay, so here they are out of that packaging and um, in their weird awkward jump poses. Uh, yes, it's a bit wobbly. Zetar comes in black and yellow. Brunt comes in purple and gray with hints of red and yellow. Uh, they have their insignias. Brunt is a Decepticon. Zetar is an Autobot. The most glaring uh, difference about them, aside from their color, of course, is their head sculpts. Uh, Zetar has this cone for a head, and Brunt has this weird silent shaped head. <laughs> All right. Here's a look at them side by side. There is no difference with their accessories. Both of them come with this gun. Mm -hmm. Brunt's gun is gray and uh, this odd bronze color, while Sator's gun is uh, silver. And black with a yellow handle uh, it's mostly a yellow it's yellow plastic with paint apps of silver and black uh, another thing that Sator has this drill head can come off and you can put it here 
but his face is so small that it looks weird and it has a peg showing. Uh, Satar has nice silver paint apps on the four threads and this piston and this and his crotch and his tie area. Uh, Brunt has some silver too uh, here on the ties and here. Uh, most of his uh, Uh, what do you call this? Other paint apps would be yellow on the knee, knee part, and here on the side, he has red eyes. Can you see that? Yeah. Without the drill, Sitter does not look. Looks like he has no head. So let's put it back. side by side and the back let's transform them okay uh, now we have transformed them into their Cybertronian tank modes uh, main difference is Satar has this weird drill while Brunt is this really really purple one uh, okay. Okay. let's have a look side by side and then Their turrets go up and down. You can rotate. Actually, you can put this. Put it here. It's, getting, it's like a weird. Um, their insignias are seen here. Uh, like Six Gun and Cog, Brunt is uh, supposed to go with the Titan class Tripticon. Cog goes with the Titan class uh, Fortress Maximus, while Six Gun goes with uh, the Titan class Metroplex. Uh, Cog is actually, I, I mean, uh, Brunt actually is uh, the same color as the that car that goes with Tripticon. And like before, I haven't um, written anything, so I don't know his name, but I can get it. Just here. This, this small car. <laughs> That comes with Tripticon. He's exactly the same color as the Brunt. Also, but around the same size too. So they complement each other. And like I said, uh, Brunt and uh, and that's Brunt and Zetar from the. Siege War for Cybertron line. Okay, that's for this video. Uh, they have a bunch of weapon configurations. Uh, you could look it up in the internet of how to how to put them in your figures. So that's for that's my look 
at least two. If you're planning to get them, they're available at your favorite uh, retailers and online sellers. Thank you for watching the video. And if you like the content, please do subscribe to my channel. Uh, like and share this video. And if you want, you can ring the you, you can ring that bell button so that you know when I'll be uploading stuff. Thank you guys. Bye.